Good afternoon, everyone. My goodness, I can't believe it's almost five o'clock. But I have been busy all day long. I had a visit from my son this morning and we got some stuff done. My children are so wonderful. I just have to tell you that. I came, I had I, I needed some things done to the car, and boom, bang, boom, he had them done. And I'm so thankful for children that care and watch after their parents. They're actually all for planning on going to see their father for their his um, 81st birthday. Yes, 81st birthday. Wow. Wow. Anyway, my name is Deacon Up, and I am partners in a ministry called Power and Unity, and I am once again coming to you with a word from the Lord to encourage you, to warn you of things that are coming, and to understand that he is in the midst of it all. If it is encouraging to you, I'm asking you to give me a thumbs up or pass it on. Subscribe to the, to the website. And if you have a prayer request that you don't want to share with everybody, you can email me at the initial D-K-N-U-P-P 26 at yahoo.com until our website is put back up again, which I hope is going to be sooner than later. Let's get into the word today. The Lord says a storm is coming. A storm is coming. Every time he says anything more than once, he means for you to listen. And I know that if you've listened to these videos, you have heard him say over and over again certain things. He means for us to pay attention. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. He says, beware and be alert. I, the Lord, am watching. I will not allow it to touch you for the blood of the lamb that was over the lentils or over are now in Egypt are now over the lentils of your heart and the storm will pass over you if he has asked me to tell you this he's talking to you today not just to me he's talking to you as I protected my children in Egypt I will protect you a storm is coming three times be watchful but do not fear for I am in the eye of the storm Stay focused and watch my spirit move swiftly across this land from coast to coast, changing this to that in the blink of an eye. My Lord and my God, great fear will come upon many, but those who stay strong in me will come through with ease. Rumbling of the waters will call boulders and mountains to shift from their place. But fear not, I am is near, and these things must happen before the great awakening. We've talked about that many times. Through this sifting, many will come to the cross. Many will seek refuge in me, and I will once again cover them with my wings of love. This nation, he says, will bow and worship me, and I will honor their worship and restore that which is broken. So many are listening or watching to see. They think America is doomed. It is down. It is no coming back. And I, I beg to differ with you. God's hand is on this nation. It's always been on this nation. He is going to restore this nation. He has a remnant that has never stopped praying over this nation, not just in this nation, but around the world because people and around this world look to America and they have seen its demise. They have seen how it is fell, how deep it has gone. But God said, as he said up yesterday, he is uprooting. The evil from the core. Come on, people. God is on his throne and he's about to do something in America. He's about to show us stuff. He's about to unwind ministries that have been bound and, and, and stagnated and release them. This is a generation that's going to see the greatness of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And he begins to say, America will be a beacon for all to see what happens when a nation stands for me. Prosperity will come from within and without. All nations will see 
we have the clout. Prosperity will come to every hand as I reveal treasures beneath the land. Listen to the, 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 the word, what he's saying. He's giving us information. He's giving us revelation. As I cradle this nation in my love, sending gifts and treasures from above. Beware of the enemy who comes to steal, but remember, I am the wheel within the wheel. Ooh, hallelujah. Stay strong in me, he says, and you will go through with ease. I know all his plans and schemes to steal all your gifts and dreams. Hold on to me and I will reveal all. Your enemy before you will crumble and fall. Hallelujah. I am the eye in the storm. You my child, my children, I do warn. The weapons you need for this warfare are worship, praise, trust, and prayer. When faith arises, the enemy scatters. In me, your trust is all that matters. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding, but in all ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Be still and know that I am. What you can't do, I can. Ooh, hallelujah. When we've done everything we know to do, what does he say? Stand, stand, and watch me work. Learn to walk in my joy and peace as you see all strife begins to cease. I'm building a bridge for all to see. Total liberty comes from me. The darkness sometimes shadows the light, but no, I am coming to make everything right. Ooh, hallelujah. What a promise. What a promise from this awesome God who holds the universes in the palm of his hand. Go back and listen to the love, love who he is. He says a crack in the door. You will see a little ahead. This nation and I are about to win. Ooh, hallelujah. When we see all this stuff going on around us, we can depend on his word. He says, a crack in the door, I'm going to let you see a little ahead. Me and this nation are about to win. Ooh, hallelujah. People praying as before, as I open the door just a little more. <laughs> he told me one time, he said, I'm going to slam doors wide open. Well, here he's saying he's just going to give it a crack. I think if he slammed them open, so for some of us, we wouldn't be able to handle it all if he slammed it open right now. So he just give us a little crack, he says, and he said, then I'm going to open it just a little bit more. <laughs> and then he re reinstates. There's coming a great shifting of power to be as America bows again to worship me. I want to repeat that. I want you to hear this because God is has been preparing people in strategic places, in, in caves and hidden places to take strategic places in high governments and low governments. Ooh, all across this nation and around this world. And he's saying there's coming a great shifting of power to be as America bows again to worship me. Be alert and don't be surprised as you see my glorious church arise. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. My church defending what is right Heaven and earth now joining the fight. Father, God has given his best. Jesus is saying, come unto me and I'll give you rest. We have fought. We have, uh, we have engaged. We have just 
feathered here and there and just wandered everywhere to and fro, not just not knowing which way to go and for so long. But he says, be alert and don't be surprised for my glorious church is about to arise. My church will start defending what is right. They're not watering down the word anymore. They're not just taking in anything and trusting. They're not doing things for, for the number of people that come or the amount of money that can be given to the church, but they are standing for truth and what is right. And souls are beginning to come in and breakthroughs are beginning to happen. Chains are now falling off. Because they're standing for truth. My church is defending what is right. Now heaven and earth join in the fight. Father God has given his best. And Jesus says come unto me and I'll give you rest. Oh hallelujah. Though there are battles we'll surely engage. Our greatest weapon is worship and praise. How many times has he said that? God seeks those to worship in spirit and in truth because he is a spirit. Though there be battles surely to engage, our greatest weapons are worship and praise. Allies from around the world will see, come on, listen. Allies from the world will see the change in America is Christianity. Woo! Hallelujah! Oh, glory be to God. My mind just went to those bumper stickers that, that, that went on trying to unify and everything is okay with all these different uh, religions. Putting, you, you know, every... Uh, even from the very beginning, Christianity wasn't the first symbol that you saw on the bumper sticker. It was the last. It was always the last. As the bumper sticker grew with the different uh, religious symbols that you saw on many cars, and I used to think, well, this is pretty good. Unity's great. But I saw between the lines, Christianity was always behind. Woo! On the bumper stickers, but not in God's eyes. Allies from around the world, that's all these other countries, will see the change in America is Christianity. America to Christ is coming back, and that, my friend, is a fact. Mercy and grace I spread anew for all the fire, fires and valleys that you have been through. We have stood the test of time. We have called out to Jesus in the hardest valleys, the hottest fires, and the deepest rivers. We continue to crawl, call out to God, and he is honoring. Mercy and grace I spread anew. For all the valleys and the fires you've been through. Pouring out my new wine for you and I to dance and die. Have you ever danced before the Lord? Oh, glory be to God. It is something that will just lift your spirit above everything. Just to dance before the Lord like King David danced. Oh, hallelujah. And... I've made these big uh, banners and I've got some sticks and I got some, some different colors, uh, materials and I just glued it to it and I just begin to wave them at the Lord, wave them at the Lord. If you don't have those, get you a handkerchief, get you a, a piece of tissue and just wave, do a wave offering before the Lord. It will lift you so high. He's pouring out his new wine so that him and you and him can wine and dine. He says, I will, I see the smile on your face as I pick up, I give you a piece of, as a piece of my glory you taste. Praise God. Just reading this just makes me giddy inside. <laughs> I guess is the word. He says, daughter, I see the smile on your face as I give you a piece of my glory you taste. Praise God.
I am the rock on which you stand. You see a change from me to him. He's telling us something. He's warning us that I'm praising him. And then he's talking back. I am the rock on which you stand. And then, Lord, I say, Lord, you are the light and the great I am. Sitting here grinning from ear to ear, you take away all of my fear. The world just seems to fade away as I sit in your presence today. The peace and rest I feel makes me know that you are real. Reaching down your hand from heaven above, touching my soul in tender love. Breaking bondages and change as my path you rearrange. Come on, he's talking to you. For this I surely know, you and I, you are with me wherever I go. Judgment coming, that's for sure. Through the fires, he says, you will endure. Hold to that strong arm of Jesus. America from the ashes will arise. He's now talking again as the sins that engulf her dies. That uprooting of that evil that God is doing. America from the ashes will arise as the sin that has engulfed her dies. A new and glorious nation she will be as she bows and worships me. A beacon for all nations to see. All power and authority is in me. In me, there is no fear. I hold mankind oh so dear. I am your closest and dearest friend, and I will fight for you till ages end. Praise God. My plans, thoughts coming to fruition, you see. Wonders, miracles, signs from me. Many things your eyes will see as you worship and look to me. Be watchful and be alert. The corners are sharp and the turn swift. But through it all, I am in the mist. I am the rock in which you planted your feet. Through the desert storms, you stood the heat. Hallelujah. The wind may blow, the trees bend. But I am with you till the very end. Praise God. And then he just all of a sudden, as I stopped to think and ponder all he said, he says, do you know who I am? I spoke and my spirit began to act. Light upon earth, waters move back. I am the God of the universe. I am the breath that you breathe. I am light in the midst of the storm. I am love unmeasurable, and I am peace unbelievable. I am goodness and mercy and grace through each and every day. Do you know who I am? Do you know who he is? The one who spoke and his spirit began to act? Light upon earth and the water smooth back. Do you know him? He is the God of the universe and the very air you breathe. Do you know who he is? He is the light in the midst of the storm. He is love unmeasurable and peace unbelievable. Do you know him? He is goodness, mercy, and grace. Throughout each day. He says do you know who I am? Oh people of God. If you do not know this Christ. This Lord and Savior. Who gave up his place in heaven. To come. Be born of a virgin. Live among us. Feel the pain and the agony. The anguish and the hatred. And the, and the guilt and the greed. That abides in mankind was willing to allow himself to be beaten and hung on a cross, Did, gave every ounce, every drop of his blood that you to become the supreme sacrifice that you and I can have eternal life with him. 
And as his blood touched the earth, it reversed the curse where Satan was through. Come on. If you don't know him, all you have to do is say, Jesus, I am a sinner. I need a savior. Come into my heart. Cleanse me. Wash me clean. And he will cover you with his blood. And his love will lift your sins away and throw them into the sea of forgetfulness. You will become a new creature in him and all the old things are passed away into the sea of forgetfulness and all things become new. And no matter what the enemy says to this, you are a new creation in him. And now there is no condemnation in you. For he abides in this earthen vessel. And your DNA was changed to be like Jesus. That's all there is to it. And then you begin to walk the walk. Get into his word. Let him speak to you. Let him get that word down in your spirit. To where it won't go away. And he says you'll have the right things to say to people. All that bitterness and anger and anguish and running around not knowing what or where to turn, what to do, goes away. Because Jesus made you new today. I love you very much, but I know God loves you so much more. I got to go. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. God bless.